Hi YouTube, welcome back to Vape Reviews with me, Aaron. So I'd like to apologise first and foremost, I've not had a big video up in a week and a half. I've just not had time to sit down and do one. Or I was supposed to do some e-liquid reviews, had a bit of a sore throat, so I didn't think it was fair when I couldn't taste the liquids. So in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the cat's RDA clone by Infinite. Once again, big thanks to Stephen K to Angel Fire Mods for sending this on to me for the purpose of this review. Uh, so another quick reminder, on Saturday 12 o'clock I'll be announcing the winners of the giveaway. Uh, so just good luck to everybody and remember that whoever gets picked first has the choice of either the Nemesis and the Fog of E4 or the Penny Mod or MTOBA Chatty. So we'll dive down close and we'll take a closer look. Right, okay, here we are with a hook close. Up close, I mean, not up close. <clears throat> so as I say, if you want to get hold of one of these, the £22.99 from Angel Fire Mods. As usual, the infinite black box. Infinite logo on the top, safety logos on the side, name of product, so cat atomizer and brass colour, and then just open on each side. So when you open it, you get the bag that comes with four replacement O-rings and two pre-made cores and wick. Do yourself a favour, chuck them in the bin, they'll be rubbish. So the atomizer comes in a sealed bag with the infinite logo on it again. So we'll put the box to one side. Right, so before we start, it's 22 millimetres wide, including drip tip. It's 47 millimetres tall when screwed onto a mod. Right, so we'll show you around. So, from the front, You've got the cat's logo, cat logo. And you've got one, two, three, four air holes on the back. Obviously, the original maker is RJ Mod. This is RJ Mod, Cats, uh, this one's 2378, which it's a clone, so it doesn't really matter. 510 connection itself is really nice, really smooth. And it's got a brass 510 contact. So, the feel of it, it's got a nice weight to it. It feels very nice quality. The brass is very nice on the outside. No sharp edges. So the drip tip itself is stainless steel. And then black Teflon, which screws on and off. I'm not going to take it all the way off. It can be a bit awkward to go back on. That's the drip tip. So for those that don't know, it's a quad coil dripper. 
It is a one-to-one -one clone of the original. All right, so we'll break it down. So the airflow control ring comes off. It's held in place with, with an O-ring there. Now, as I say, there's four air holes. Let's see if you can see this. So by close it, by turning this ring, you can open or close the air hole. So when you adjust one, it adjusts all four. So as I say, that's how long with an O ring. As you can see, hopefully be able to see it's really nice machining. And all the air holes are all smooth. No rough bits left on the insides. So yeah, that was that's the airflow control. And then the brass outer sleeve itself pulls off. So once again, uh, I believe it's laser etching. Once again, really, really nicely machined. No sharp bits. Everything's nice and smooth. So, well done, Infinite. Really, really nice. So that's the sleeve. And then four air holes around the outside. So then, as you can see, it's not your standard dripper. So you've got this SUS or SUS conical bell. So when it's actually on the base, it's literally from that point to here, it's your chamber, so it's very small, that's why you get plenty of flavour. I hopefully you can see inside once again, machined perfectly. So on the bell itself, you've got six air holes around the outside. Personally, uh, I'd probably drill these out a little bigger. So it's a very warm vape. And then there's your 510 where you drip to uh, half your 510 drip tips. Stainless steel, this is made out of. So that's the bell. And then we come down to the build deck itself. So as you can see, you've got positive in the center, four negative terminals, all flat heads, all stainless steel, as well as a white Delrin insulator with a drip well in the middle. Now, uh, the bells held on in place, these two O-rings, uh, over-dripping isn't an issue, it stays nice and dry, and it's because once that's on, got these small air holes, but then once your sleeves over the top, creates a chamber, uh, which creates a bit of a vacuum, so it leaves it in the deck itself. Obviously, you don't go putting a 10 mil bottle in there because it will leak out. 
Now, the 510 connection is removable. You undo this collar and it'll push out like so. But for this today, I'm going to leave that on. I mean, it's, it really is a very nice piece. Machined very well. These clones are getting better and better. Right, so we're going to do a build on it today. And we're going to be using 0 0.35 27 gauge cam fall. So you're going to need the cam fall, you're going to need some 2 mil drill bits, some organic cotton, selection of pliers or tweezers. Uh, being as it's going to be a sleeper, I'm going to be doing a sleeper coil, so it's quad coils, two strands, get yourself a decent battery. Uh, don't go try using one of these atties and using an ICR battery or anything like that. So decent battery, an ohm reader, so still using my lovely pink one given to me by Stephen Katie. Right, so we'll get on with it. Make sure that's tightened back up. Now the way I'm going to do it, I'm going to grab my coils going horizontally horizontal across here and then hooking under the negative terminal to the right which obviously is going to be to your left so one strand will do the two opposing coils so we've got 27 gauge here now I've, I've already torched this take a bit of the springiness out now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go underneath the drill bit and I'm going to wrap from left to right, obviously on the screen, it's your right to your left. And I'm going to do eight wraps. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there's one. Eight wraps. Really not going to focus today for some reason. Right, so I'll put it back on the drill bit. Now what I'm gonna do first is trap it under the first get it in position that you want it, so I'm aiming for the center of the deck. So grab it negative, pull it around. So pull your negative round. So, hold it in place. Fasten the first one down. 
and then I'm going to come up with the positive lead and I'm going to go clockwise round and pull off to the left hand side of the opposite coil pull that back I'm just going to knit this up Right, so on this side, same again, can't fall underneath the drill bit and go for another eight wraps. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. So eight wraps again. Put it down to where you want it centered. I'm going to remove that a little bit. So pull it to where you want it and go under sorry go under the negative More. So as you can see then that's that coil. Give that a bit of a squeeze up. I've now crushed one of the coils. Let's bring it back over. Now, so pull it to where we want it and pull that side to where we want it. So that's the first two coils done. So Sorry about that, I didn't even realise I was off camera then. So as you can see, first two coils on there will tidy them up in a bit. So, same again. Underneath, eight wraps from left to right. One, two, three, four. Eight. I'm going to go this one here. So this negative. Now I'll do this positive. So it's, it's the second build I've done on here, so it may not uh, have gone the greatest. In our fingers and thumbs today. So once again, so 
the first negative. Adjust it slightly to where you want it. Clockwise around the positive. So I can now tighten the positive back down. And same again. Just pull that round slightly further. So really sorry, it's uh, not that very well on camera. So same again. Eight wraps. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now this is the part where it starts getting fiddly when you've got four on here. So, once again, do that negative. Try and squeeze these coils up a bit. So put it into place. Get it under the negative. Pull it to where we want it. Yeah. So that's four coils. Just adjust that one slightly. Sorry, guys. You should end up with something that looks a little like that. Now, obviously, at the moment, it needs tidying up. So I'm going to trim all the leads. In fact, I'm just going to wiggle them. One. Two. Three, four, 
so 0 0.3, 0 0.29. So I'm going to get it on the mod and I'm going to give it all a tidy up. So we'll start giving it pulls. And I'll start giving them a squeeze. A drill bit on that one. It's just a case of adjusting as you go around to where you want it to sit. Look for another fire. Starting to glow nicely. See how she's working now then. Go from the centre. Oh, near enough even. Just give him another. Quick tidy up. That's it. See how she's looking now. That'll do me. They're all near enough even now. Right, so we're going to put it back on the end reader. So I do, I do, it's going to do apologise, it's only the second time I've built on this, so it's not gone as well as I'd have hoped. Let's see what she's reading now. So, point three. So let's wick her up then. So you want some organic cotton. Rip off a strand. And start to roll it, but keep it as fluffy as possible. As always, you want it to not be too tight. So there's one.
two. Adjust that one actually. Two. Now, the way I've been wicking it is different to the only bills that I have seen on this uh, have been either vertical. or diagonal diagonally up now in the videos that i did watch they didn't do the build and they whipped over the top of the positive but i uh, i'm not gonna wick it like that uh it was the first time i built it i quite liked the amount of flavor and everything that i got off it that's obviously at the minute you've got loads of ends so what i do just bunch them up take my scissors and i leave not even a centimeter same again two Great. And then I take the one on the right hand side and go over and down into the juice well and the one on the left I take so take and I poke underneath so over then under then same again over Under, over, under, over, under. So then when you've done, it looks a little something like that. So I'll put it back on the mod now. And the e-liquid I'm going to be using today is a 50-50 and it's Kendall Mint Cake from Mrs. Lord. I'm just going to juice it up.
right? So now we're going to give it a fire. Wow, that smells nice. So when you put it back together, it doesn't matter about where the holes line up, you don't have to go in front of any coils. So just pop it on there. Pop the sleeve on. I like to line. That's the other good thing about the logo, the sleeve, you can always line your logos up. Airflow control ring. Drip tip. All right, so we'll go back up top. That was the up close, the rebuild. Uh, didn't go as smoothly as possible. Uh, as possible as I wanted, sorry. Uh, it's not it's not all that hard to build on. So let's take a bait. Vape production is really nice. Flavour, it's incredible. Uh, I mean, I thought the Fogger V4 was really good and that's rebuildable with a tank. But this thing, that's a six milligram liquid in there. It does get you in the throat, it is really warm. Uh, I'm going to be honest, if for somebody who's just getting into rebuildables, it's not an active I'd recommend. Uh, I'd get some coil building experience behind you. As you can see, I, did, I made it look quite hard on that video, to be fair. So pros and cons. Pros. Top, top pro on this is the flavour. It smacks you in the mouth, the amount of flavour. Number two, the vapour's really good. Uh, it's not dense, but that's 50-50 liquid. Number three, the look of it. Looks really nice. And because of how the sleeve is, you can line up the logo. So the cat and the Nemesis logo I've got lined up. And then both the writing and the serial number on the Nemesis lined up. Another pro is, it's interesting, it's something different. Uh, the airflow control, to be honest, I wouldn't want to close that off any. I think it's a very warm vape as it is. Uh, the good thing is with having the Teflon drip tip, you don't get that heat on, you don't burn your lips. And so on the con side, for me, about the only con is that airflow. It's it's very warm. Uh, it's not as free-flowing as, say, uh, a still air or an atomic because it comes in here pulls down the chamber and through the air holes in the bell. But all in all, really nice, very good quality. And as I say, 22 by 99 Angel Fire mods. So yeah, that that's me tonight, guys. Uh, so yeah, the competition giveaway. 12 o'clock Saturday, I'm going to announce Two random winners. First winner will have the choice of either combo and the second place winner will receive what's left. So when I take another bait. I'll see you again soon guys. Thanks for watching.